for watching the Two Smart Guys show. It's been a while. Thank you for staying subscribed. I've been doing some live casts, uh, commute casts lately. I'm, I plan on doing more of those. Also incorporating my sons. I now have three of them. Uh, <laughs> and the oldest one, he's doing a lot of his own Two Smart Guy-like projects constantly. So I just got to get him in front of the camera. He's doing some really cool stuff with VR. He's got an Oculus Quest and He's, uh, I can't remember what it's called, Locomotion or something like that, where you use Nintendo Switch controllers on your feet. So when you run in, in real life, you run in the video game uh, along in the VR. So it's kind of like having a, you know, one of the omnidirectional treadmills, but without having to spend, you know, over $1,000. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see from the Two Smart Guys channel going forward. Uh, YouTube's threatening to shut off the channel for not posting videos. <laughs> Uh, I've been posting at uh, teslatrip.com all the Tesla news because I've really been into that over the past few years. Another thing I've been getting into is cryptocurrency. So we posted a video about crypto a long time ago, Bitcoin, and man, I should have just kept going with it because it has exploded. As of today, Bitcoin has reached over $60,000 a coin. And I think when we were looking at it, it was like, $50 a coin. It was, <laughs> it was, and I know there's always stories about it and then it goes up really high and then it goes really low. I remember a couple years ago, it went up $20,000 and everybody was freaking out and then it dropped back down to like $5,000. Then it went up to, you know, $30,000 and dropped to $20,000 and then to $50,000 and back down to $30,000. And now it's at 60. And you know, everybody talks about Bitcoin but that was one of the first coins. And now there's a lot of other cryptocurrencies out there. And some of Litecoin is, is one of them. They're, it's a more efficient, but it's essentially the same thing. Uh, but the transactions are a lot faster and it doesn't use as much power. A lot, there's a lot of benefits to Litecoin. And then there's Dogecoin, which is the meme coin, which is basically Litecoin. And so anything that can mine Litecoins are also pretty much able to mine Dogecoin. And Dogecoin is just hilarious. Like Elon Musk has been promoting it because he thinks it's just funny. And he thinks it would be hilarious if the world used it as its main currency. If you have a question like, what, what's the point in uh, cryptocurrency? Because, uh, you know, is it just used by drug dealers or what? And it's pretty cool to think about. It's just a distributed ledger. So basically, if I send you, um, you know, a 10 Dogecoin, it goes to everybody that has Dogecoin. So nobody can s say, you know, now you have this much Dogecoin. Um, there's no cheating the system, really. It's And it, since it's distributed to everybody, that's called the blockchain. It It's it's like this record where everybody has a record of every transaction. The issue with it is, well, you know, who keeps track of that? And they're like, well, you know, everybody has a wallet and you have to be online and you have to be mining. So you get paid in those coins for helping the transaction. So at banks, you know, there's transaction fees or they earn money on interest or they reinvest your money to make your money back, but they got to pay for the brick and mortar, you know, the employees, the, the air conditioning in the building, the benefits, all this stuff. So they have all this overhead. So basically you take your overhead from moving money around people down to almost, almost nothing, just a little bit to run the computers which some would argue is actually really a lot. <laughs> and that's one of the inefficiencies with Bitcoin is it uses a lot of freaking power because as there's more coins, the algorithms get more complex, the, the, the blockchain gets bigger. So really uh, th there's other coins like Ethereum is a really big one right now. Uh, and I wanna get into showing mining rigs. Uh, I've got a Litecoin miner. I've also got this cool little old shell miner that uses almost no power. So I'm going to run it off of solar. In fact, I am running it off of solar right now and my Litecoin miner. If you want to make money off of mining coin, the biggest thing is cost to run the thing. Like it may not be your upfront cost of paying like a couple hundred dollars to a few thousand dollars for a miner. It's actually your cost of the electricity it uses. So when you're, when you're mining coin, you have to look at the cost of the unit, how long it's going to take to get the payback on it. And then how long is it going to be good for? Because basically they come out with better miners every six months. And then if the the better miner is more efficient on electricity, it gets to the point where 
it costs you money to mine. Like we tried to set it up on my son's computer, a GPU miner with an old card. It was going to cost us about $15 a month to run it in the negative. So <laughs> we'd lose $15 a month running, running a miner. Yeah, so these uh, ASICs miners, these dedicated miners are like definitely the way to go. Unless you can get a newer GPU, which is almost impossible right now. I was at Micro Center over in Denver. They said, you cannot line up before 6 o'clock to get these cards. <laughs> uh, they got some great cards out there for like 500 bucks, but getting them is just as hard as getting a PlayStation. Thank you guys for this little update on cryptocurrency. Hopefully my brief explanation might pique your interest and I'll go into some more details on my, my new solar powered mining rig. Uh, I'm kind of cheating. I'm using the whole entire garage roof to power my house, test the power walls and anything that's connected to it. But I have uh, an old camper that I want to retrofit and, and put mining equipment in it because these things are loud. Like, they're too loud to keep in my garage, too loud to keep in my house, but I'll put it into this old little camper, super insulate it, and instead of um, instead of air conditioning it, I'm thinking of taking it somewhere cold and letting it run off of solar and off of Starlink. So that would be pretty cool. I just need to work out the security so nobody messes with it. Yeah, basically, during the summer, I could take it up to the mountains and hide it, not hide it, but you know, I buy a little land and leave it on there where it would mine without having to be pay for the air conditioning and then during you know the winter bring it back down and put it somewhere where it could stay warm on the cheap <laughs> so anyways if you got any questions about crypto and particular currencies that you want to get let me know um i'm not good at doing financial advice but i did pretty well on some bitcoin earlier or well not big not only bitcoin but also litecoin uh, all the coins really but dogecoin when it was going for like half a cent and then it went up to eight cents um yeah so i was able to afford to get a few mining rigs and get into this this type of stuff and i'd like to kind of share the the, the wealth of knowledge <laughs> so if you haven't please subscribe to the two smart guys show and uh, you can follow me on twitter i'm at walking crow as well as you can email me pox at two smart guys thanks talk to you guys soon bye this, this has been, been a two smart guys, guys production, production.